So I chose to write about the office, um, focusing on the interpersonal communication between Oscar and his boss, Michael. So, you know, a couple of the topics that I chose to write about were perception, language, and nonverbal communication. So, you know, through the, the character perceived notions of one another, they contribute to their ongoing interpersonal relationship, which ultimately influence their language and nonverbal behaviors. So these concepts are ultimately what contribute to the strife and ongoing problems in their relationship. So I would character, characterize, um, you know, their relationship as, you know, definitely solid. I mean, definitely not solid, you know, a little bit rocky and chippy. Um, this is mainly due to Michael's um, lack of self-awareness and also his, you know, his l low uh, self-monitoring skills. Um, you know, Michael isn't very, uh, you know, aware of what he says and how he, you know, what he projects, you know, he, he's, he's those type of people that, you know, that won't really think twice before, you know, saying something or speaking. Um, and he really, you know, does not really, you know, care or, or doesn't really care about how what he says will affect, you know, his co-workers and the people around him. Um, he's kind of, you know, just like a loose cannon just saying stuff. Whereas Oscar, you know, he's a little bit more intellectual, a little bit more, uh, you know, uh, um, understanding of other people. And on the other hand, he does, you know, care about what people think about him or, or what, you know, what, what um, you know, what he projects onto, onto his co-workers. He understands, you know, the professional nature of the environment that he's in. And he chooses not to disclose, you know, as much personal information of himself to his co-workers and, you know, and, and you know, to the people he works with. On the other hand, Michael treats, you know, the, the office environment as one big family, you know, spreading rumors, talking about other affairs where, you know, it's very unprofessional, which is, you know, ultimately, you know, the what makes the show very funny and very likable. Um, however, this is just a very, you know, he exerts very, very poor communication skills on his behalf um, when, you know, interacting with, you know, Oscar, but not only Oscar, but everybody else in the office. So due to Michael's low self-monitoring, he puts himself in situations that make Oscar uncomfortable by utilizing stereotypes and presumptions against certain types of people. You know, this relates um, to, the, to the idea of self-concept and, you know, the image that we portray onto in one another. Um, you know, due to, you know, Michael's ill-conceived perceptions of Oscar, um, this causes him to, you know, evoke, uh, you know, very negative language, thinking that it's, you know, funny or humorous, humorous towards Oscar. Um, so, and, you know, which causes him to be a bad communicator. Um, so in the conversations he has with o with Oscar, he uses you know very derogatory and very um, you know negative language, you know thinking that he's being funny, which otherwise you know is is very offensive. So the derogatory language used by Michael illustrates his lack of self awareness. This clearly shows how Michael's ignorance contributes to his use of profane statements, which um, you know affect the relationship of him and, and Oscar. Um, his use of language is, is brought back once again to his perceptions of, of how he, you know, has, is very, like, not aware of what he says and how, he's, how he says certain things. So, once again, you know, language is, is a very, you know, is a critical, you know, strife um, in, their, in their relationship. Not only that, but it also prompts him to, to um, use, you know, nonverbal cues, which, you know, are sometimes seen as sarcasm and facial expressions which allow Oscar to actually discern that Michael is once again, you know, being unknowingly offensive. In conversations were, um, you know, had between Michael and Oscar, Michael, you know, jokes and, you know, smiles and, and at, at some comments he makes towards Oscar, which, you know, prompts Oscar to, you know, to, to analyze, oh, you know what, uh, um, Michael is making fun of me once again. So another concept that is present in the show is, you know, their characters use of pragmatic rules. So essentially, these are ways that how on how we use social and cultural information to determine the meaning of statements. So they direct us to pay attention to context, tone of voice, and other clues which you know make sense of what someone is saying. So this is you know very highly used um, by Oscar. Um, a lot of times when you know Michael is you know is, is saying a joke or making fun of Oscar or, or doing you know whatever. Um, Oscar, you know, uses these, you know, picks up on these social clues on, you know, the smiling that Oscar, um, that, that Michael does, the, you know, the, the shift of his tone, you know, how sometimes when he's lying or when he's messing around, he'll use like a higher pitch. Um, so these are all indicators that, you know, um, Michael is, he is being deceitful and that, you know, he's messing again with Oscar. Oscar obviously gets annoyed 
of these, you know, instances of these, you know, little ticks that Michael's, you know, does. Um, and, you know, it causes a lot more strife in the relationship. But the thing that, you know, I've, I noticed, you know, uh, was, you know, very particular about the relationship is how, you know, the creators, you know, they intentionally use the, you know, this, this very low self modern person. And then, you, you know, you get this very high self modern person and it kind of just like, illustrates and it just you know it just highlights you know these these points you know and and you know it's it's very you know eligible and very visible to pick up you know these concepts um in the relationship you know and this is just you know due to the fact that you got you know this very low you know self-aware person this very high self-aware person and it kind of puts us in the shoes of oscar and on on how you know we would react to some if we have somebody like michael in short the analysis of these characters allow us to understand the different nuances involved in a interpersonal relationship and how you know poking fun at these controversial issues um, through the use of communication allow us to, you know to experience you know some type of humor um, you know and I just, I just found it very interesting how you know this is one of my favorite um, shows and you know it's just you know very interesting to analyze these characters and see you know what oh you know if looking down in, in, in depth you know that you know this character was <laughs> really a dick and you know this other character was you know it just he had to go through a lot to support him, so, you know, it was just very funny and, you know, very, you know, just a good learning experience.